I want to dare a little bit today to talk to you about a system breaking down because probably for the first time in my life I actually am beginning to think we may be at or near that kind of condition. So here we go. I see four basic problems that the United States and its capitalist system have had for a very long time. And none of them have been solved, and none of them have even been approached for the serious fundamental problems that they are. The unsolved nature of these four problems is now converging, coming together, hitting us all at once, and therefore throwing the system itself into question. Number one. For many, many decades, in some ways for the entire history of the United States, we have had an economic system that does not take into account the ecological, environmental damage it does. Basic decisions in our economy are made by very small numbers of people, capitalists, the people who own and operate enterprises. They decide what to produce, how to produce, where to produce, and what to do with the profit they get. And they have been all too eager to lay waste to the land, to the forests, to pollute the air and the water in the pursuit of profits. Because they have not been held accountable or responsible for the costs of environmental degradation, they have ignored them. And now we see in our temperature, in our drought, in our flood, and so on, the costs accumulating of what this system did not understand as a problem and even having understood it could not take the steps from containing fossil fuel burning and so on that need to be taken. Problem unsolved. Number two, capitalism's intrinsic instability. On average, every four to seven years, the system crashes. Millions become unemployed, businesses collapse, resources are wasted, people's lives destroyed, disrupted. It's a cataclysm, and we are now living through the second worst one in the history of capitalism. So they're not going away. The problem isn't solved. If anything, as with climate, this unsolved problem kicked down the road with every governmental policy package applied is here now and telling us I won't go away. Number three, systemic racism. Inherited from slavery, capitalism adapted, appropriated, and has made use of institutional racism throughout its history. We have periodic attempts to recognize it. We have periodic attempts to do something, often by the poorest amongst us in the streets. Then attention is paid, as it is today. Then commissions are set up, as they are today. Then reports analyzing the racism in our society get written. But nothing fundamentally is solved. African Americans and Latin Americans, Latinx people, remain at the bottom of the economic pyramid. Last hired, first fired. The people who absorb the cyclical instability and suffer from it mightily, filling up our jails with their upset, filling up the halls of our hospitals with their physical and mental distress. These problems could have been solved, should have been solved, but they weren't. And now the fourth and the final. We have an obligation as a society to ourselves, to our children, to keep us physically and mentally healthy, safe. In the presence of viruses that have periodically plagued human society for thousands of years and likewise plagued American society, again, let me recall 1919, the flu that killed 700,000 Americans. We know as a society, just like we know about our racism, 
and our unstable capitalism and our climate change threats. We know that we have to be prepared and have to have mechanisms for managing viruses. We fail at that too. All of these are happening together. We are now confronted with a climate threat, a crash, an economic crash of mega proportions, racism exploding in a society afflicted by another business cycle crash, and a virus for which this system proved itself to be extraordinarily unprepared and incompetent to manage it. And if you add to these four crises happening together, the fact that we have a leadership utterly incapable of dealing with it, and you can understand why those feelings you feel in yourself, anxiety, worry, is the world falling apart, you are in fact understanding. You are in touch with something happening. It's too much, and when that happens, systems have come to the point that possibly means not that we will return to normal, but that the end of a system is what history has left for us to cope with. Think about it. This is Richard Wolff for Democracy at Work.